Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'll be doing another study with me, my AGCSE is in 27 days. I know I've done a lot of study with me. I've done like... Uh, I've, I've lost track of how many study with me I've done, but... If you're curious, you can just go and check out the playlist. Here. Wait, here. Okay, anyways, it will appear somewhere here. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is actually a physics revision worksheet that my teacher sent us. <laughs> Right here, I'm just doing my Felix revision worksheet as I mentioned earlier. Honestly, it is not not my favorite science, but my favorite part of it is definitely the calculations. That's probably what keeps me from entirely hating this subject. Oh no, it's not that hard for science once you get a grasp of it. I just realized I paused my timer and then I forgot to start it again once I started studying. Why am I missing this kind of stuff? Yeah, sometimes I do not understand how I get so self-absorbed into my work and just forget to start my study timer. But enough of that. I'm gonna leave you guys in peace with the music for a minute. Physics done. Now it is time for... Biology. Biology is definitely one of my favorite sciences apart from chemistry of course. Part of the reason I love it so much is because it is so interesting. I absolutely love learning new things in general and to me biology just has so many more stuff that I haven't yet discovered and I'm just so curious to learn more. But on that note I have to say I hate anything that has to do with plants. Another reason is also I find it the easiest size to study. People say that there are a lot of things you have to memorize in biology so I don't know if it's just because my memory is really good but in my opinion I find that there isn't much to memorize once you understand what's actually being taught in the syllabus it's just so easy to remember once you understand everything so my tip to anyone who's struggling with biology is to read your textbook as many times as possible the textbook is your best friend i'm not even kidding for me i hardly have to do any memorization at all in biology because repetition is something that i've done over the years is the best method to remembering anything without ever struggling or suffering oh and of course if you're still in the learning stage of IGCSE listen to those videos which tell you to read the entire chapter in the textbook before class starts I've always done that and it really does help biology done for now I might do some more in the afternoon but let's do some ad maths yes I was still at 2017 I'm aware I'm pretty slow Considering AdMaps is my first exam. Now, AdMaps is no doubt my favorite subject and definitely the subject I'm best at. If you were to ask me what was my number one tip for AdMaps, it would definitely be to do as much practice and as many past papers as you can. But I'm sure everyone's already said that. But it's really not just about knowing how to answer the questions, it's also about the speed. So like, you know, when you see the question, you already know every single step instead of going through and then struggling halfway and not knowing what steps to continue using. And that's not just about being familiar with the questions. That's also about the speed at which your brain can work. And what's really important is training the speed at which your brain works. Of course, practicing with past papers is the best. Another thing that's really important is making sure you can master every single topic once you've learned it and not waiting until revision time to cram everything in and try to understand because your brain is not going to be able to handle it. So the best way is to do as much practice on that specific topic once you've completed that topic so that you've already mastered it and when it comes around to revision, you're just recapping. Anyways, good luck to anyone taking MS. I know most people don't find it an easy subject, but you've got this. Hi. So I just finished lunch and I'm back. I am 
going to just mark my MS paper now because I finished it. Yep, marking, very important. I'm sure you all know the importance of not skipping any question. If you do not understand the steps, make sure to always, always find out. Do not leave it. Chemistry because I am trying to procrastinate on physics. I love chemistry, so it is no surprise that both biology and chemistry are my best sciences and some of my best subjects in general. If someone were to ask me how I studied chemistry, <laughs> I wouldn't really know how to answer because the only thing I do for chemistry is just doing past papers. I really don't do anything else, mostly because I already understand the materials. So I guess the first step is to understand the materials. And then the next is just to do as much past papers as you can by applying everything. Of course, you need to memorize all the things that needs to be memorized, that color changes and all that kind of stuff. And once you've done that, it's just doing past papers. That's why I'm on the past paper grind in this study of me video. <laughs> But I definitely learned a lot from this past paper. There were a lot of um, questions that were asked quite differently from usual. Time for physics. studying with this is my cousin Sophia we're gonna be studying together absolutely love studying with someone just the feeling of having someone studying with you is just amazing it it's like added motivation so if anyone's struggling with study motivation definitely get a study buddy just make sure you have enough discipline to not turn it into chatting but all in all I'll definitely recommend it Oh, I forgot to mention that around here, somewhere, I switch from physics to biology. I like to switch on my subjects throughout the day to keep myself from getting bored because just studying one subject all the time, it kind of gets exhausting and boring. Right now it is 5.47 I've been studying for the entire afternoon 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. That's all I have for this study of me. Apologies for not posting last week. It's just been so hectic for all the studying. Just a quick reminder that we won't be posting from October to November. But I'll be back at the end of November. Definitely. Right after my exams. I'm not sure if we'll be posting next week and the week after. But if we have time, we, we will. If not, then we'll just see you guys in November. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Bye, we'll see you in the next video.